Hey, how's it going? My name is Jacob Proctor. I am a counselor at the Healing Lodge of the Seven Nations. Um, we're putting together a video. Uh, we were able to do some basketball camps with Tribal CEO. Uh, we were able to work with three different tribes in the community. Um, we worked with the Nez Perce down in Lapway, Idaho, um, the Coeur d'Alene Tribe in Plummer, Idaho, and the Spokane Tribe up in Wellpinet, Washington. And what we did was we tried to combine um, basketball with DBT and uh, chemical dependency. And um, we were able to put together some camps and also talk to the kids about um, being able to say no and, and using some different DBT skills um, to help them navigate through life. DBT is Dialectical Behavioral Therapy. It is a set of skills that we teach the kids here at the Healing Lodge, um, like I said, to um, deal with their addiction and kind of help them navigate through life. Um, in the video, there are four skills that we're going to be showing. Um, there's Radical Acceptance, which is basically you just accept things the way that they are. Um, you, know, you, you really have no control and can't change anything and instead of trying to force it you just kind of let things happen um, and then there's also wise mind and wise mind consists of three different components um, but it's basically just finding a balance and using um, your intellect to uh, navigate through life um, there's also deer man and deer man is a skill that we teach to um, assist you in saying no or help you get what you want um, there's also mindfulness. Uh, mindfulness is just being in the moment, being present, um, not worrying about you know what you have to do later on tonight, what your friends are doing, or anything like that. You're just you're staying focused and, and uh, remaining on task. I hope you guys enjoy the video and thank you from the Healing Lodge. Okay, so here's an example where Rufus could have used rad radical acceptance. Um, instead of slamming the ball on the ground and acting irrationally and emotionally, he could have just collected the ball, handed it back to the ref, and saved himself the technical foul. So in the clip that we just saw, we saw Rufus use radical acceptance. Ref called the foul, even though Rufus didn't agree with it, he collected the ball, handed the ref the ball, and saved himself the technical foul. He gets to stay in the game. So radical acceptance basically is just accepting things that you cannot change. Um, there's times in life where things happen, um, there's nothing you can do, and if you react in certain ways, you might perpetuate the problem. Um, radical acceptance is being able to look at things outside of the box, just accept them for what, the way that they are, and just move on with your life. So another DBT skill that we use is called wise mind, and wise mind consists of three different aspects. There's the rational mind, uh, where you overanalyze and you're overthinking things. There's the emotional mind where you just act off of instinct, you don't really know what's going on. And the perfect balance between those two is the wise mind, and that's using a little bit of each to make a better, more informed decision. So 
another DBT skill is Deer Man. And Deer Man is a skill that we use when we want, when we want to get something or we're trying to say no. Um, the D in Deer Man stands for describe. You need to be able to describe what it is that you want. The E is to express. You need to be able to express how you feel. The A is to be assertive, not abrasive. Um, and there's a very fine line between the two because being assertive and being abrasive can be misconstrued sometimes. Um, the R is to reinforce. You basically just restate what it is that you want or that you're not trying to get. Um, the M is mindfully, and that's doing one thing at a time. Um, the A is to appear confident, and the N is to negotiate. Let's take a look and see if Booker can deer man his way into the game. Come on, Booker, put in the coach. You know, I showed up for practice on time all this week. You did, you did. My grades are up, man. I want some C's. Come on, Kobe, get that over there. Please, man, you gotta let me in. I got my friends and family here to watch me. I, I played everything by the book. Come on, please, Kobe. Let me in. Please, Kobe, I can do this. Man. Come on, let me in. All right, go check in. So mindfulness is another skill um, of DBT that we use and mindfulness in the simplest form is just doing one thing at a time, being in the moment and staying focused. Um, I'm sure there's been times where we've all been in school and we're about ready to take a test and our mind just kind of wanders off and, and starts thinking about you know what we're going to do later on that day or what we have to get done or you know who we need to go see. That's not being mindful. Being mindful is, you know, I have this test in front of me, I know the answers, I need to get through this test, and let's just knock it out. Okay, so DBT skills are not just used in sports. Um, they're used in all aspects of life. We just found a way to try to tie the two together to make it more interesting for the kids that we worked with. Um, the Nez Perce kids down in Lapway, Idaho, the Coeur d'Alene kids over in Plummer, Idaho, and also the Spokane kids um, up in Welpen at Washington. Um, in the video, you get to catch a glimpse of what we were able to do with the camp camps. Um, the kids had a lot of fun. They enjoyed themselves. They got to play and learn at the same time, um, which was a good deal for us. So. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching and thank you from the Healing Lodge of the Seven Nations in Spokane.